Hi guys, Jay here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. I create daily Office 365 learning videos so that you could uh, get maximum benefits from Office 365 investments and improve your productivity in your workplace. In today's video, I wanted to bring you another automation using OneDrive for Business and Microsoft Flow uh, to help you, you know, you know, improve the productivity, okay? So one of the things that's missing when we moved from the classic experience to the modern experience in OneDrive for Business is alerts, okay? In the classic experience, you could actually get, create an alert to get notified when someone has actually updated a document, okay? Uh, that's missing in the modern experience. So let's look at how using some automation, especially using Microsoft Flow, how you can get that back, okay? Let's jump in and have a look. Uh, here we are uh, in my OneDrive for Business. I've logged in here as Megan. I'm also logged in in a different browser as a as myself, Jag. Uh, so we'll use both the accounts to demonstrate this, okay? So here I have, uh, in my OneDrive for Business, I have this PowerPoint presentation where I'm working on. So let's open it up. And in this presentation, I just made a comment in here, which will come up in a second. All right. So you can see there's uh, there's there's a mention there's a comment made on the comment uh, in on uh, from Megan. Uh, so to to do something. So let's go ahead and mention someone here. All right. Uh, so you can just say Jag, please check this. Then you you save that. What it does, because it's actually previously a private file where only Megan has got access to. Now, within from within the PowerPoint itself, PowerPoint Online, you could actually you know share this file with them and notify the user. Okay. Now, if I actually go back, go into my admin account, I should get a an email pretty soon. It should come anytime soon now. Come on, Office 365, don't let me down. There you have it. Uh, I've got an email now saying that Megan has mentioned me. Now here in this browser setting, I've logged in as Jag, uh, and you can see that this particular file, the, the European expansion the PowerPoint has been shared with me, okay? Now let me go ahead and open the, the, uh, the, the document and start making some edits. I'm just gonna say done. You know, I'm just gonna make some edits there. All right, so, and it's automatically saved because we're working in PowerPoint online. Uh, it does does uh, do the auto save. Actually, talking about auto save, you'll get that in the PowerPoint as well. So now I'm gonna actually close this uh, document. Now, if I go back to Megan's um, OneDrive, you could actually see that, um, okay, you could see that uh, this file has been uh, updated uh, just now. And if I actually go to Outlook, you can actually see that I've got a notification saying that European expansion uh, PowerPoint in your OneDrive for business is updated by Jack. So this is a notification that uh, you, you got because you know now it tells me that, okay, you shared uh, a file with, with someone uh, in your workplace and you know, rather than you worry, you know, starting for you to, uh, rather than rather than you, you know, following up to see if the, if the file has been edited or not, you automatically get a, a, an alert or an email notification, right? Um, so this is all done through using uh, Flow, and now let's go. Uh, let let's check. Let's just jump into the Flow and check how it's actually been created. So here you can see I've created a, a, a Flow called Alert Me. Let's open this in the edit mode. Here you can actually see that uh, you know it's a very simple Flow. It's not many steps actually. So what what I'm doing? I'm just using the uh, action called when a file is modified. Uh, I'm getting the file metadata. Okay. Um, passing the file uh, identifier from the file modified and also getting uh, my profile information because I need to check in the next condition and just checking show that the last modified person is not equal to myself okay I don't want to be alerted when I make changes to my own documents so and 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 you're checking to make sure that you know if the last modified is not you and if it's not you then you send a email notification saying that you know who's modified it. That's as simple as that. So one thing to keep in mind though here is uh, within the actual initial stage, uh, when a file is been modified, I've set it to the root folder. You could, uh, and also, 
in the advanced options i've enabled include subfolders as well so that means that means any file that's been modified modified in one drive for business or within the subfolders within one one drive for business you'll get a notification okay uh, if you're seeing yourself uh, you know collaborating with lots of people and then you don't want to get uh, you know lots of emails email notifications but you still wanted to track on who's uh, if a person or you know has modified some changes maybe think about uh, changing this from a root to a a a subfolder right and and then probably have a, a specific folder created to where you want to track uh, the uh, either email you know track who's updated it or on so there you have it uh, that's a quick uh, <laughs> uh, work around on how to bring back uh, the alert functionality in a uh, alert me functionality in uh, in OneDrive for Business in the modern experience. There you have it. Uh, that's that's a quick work around on how to create uh, an automation around uh, to track who's updated files, uh, uh, your OneDrive for files and get an email notification. Hope you enjoyed uh, this quick uh, automation uh, work around. And uh, if you did, please do follow me and uh, or connect with me on LinkedIn and stay tuned for another video tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks a lot.